big girl. Oh, What's up, everybody? It's your host, Norman Towns, with your boy, Kev, on stage. Hosting the drop, Cynthia and Jay Snow are still out, so we're doing it. They'll be back Monday. Today's story is about Rachel Dozal. She's the president of the NAACP in Spokane, Washington. I'm from Washington, if you guys didn't know. And Rachel Dozal is not black at all, actually. She got the NAACP card on GP. She's an imposter, people. <laughs> so what happened was Rachel said that she had been receiving hate mail in her mailbox from really? Oakland, California. Oh. So the FBI investigated it and the FBI was like, there's no like stamps on this. This didn't go through processing to the she post made office. Her own hate she mail. made her own hate mail oh. and put it in the mailbox. <laughs> so they interviewed her about it and that's when the whole are you African American thing came out. She was like, uh she did it. She just left the interview. She did it. She's straight. Maury, you oh, are not the father. I'm probably, running backstage. Ooh. Mailed it to herself like, you dirty black <laughs> woman, supporter of rights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we put it in her own you. mailbox and was like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> I, where are the authorities? I am appalled. And they were like, man, it's your handwriting. How do you feel about this, first of all? Listen, man, she's out here in fake dreads, fake natural <laughs> hair. She made sweet potato pie, but did she make the potato salad? That's what I need to know. Team natural, for real. Like, we try to get rid of our naturalness. Rochelle, you bringing it back. It's gonna become popular now, you know what I'm saying? She probably has a boyfriend that's upset talking about she can't get her hair wet, knowing damn well you need to get your hair as wet as you wanna be. I wanna make up a verb for her. This from now on should be called Doze Allen. If you see Doze. any white person who's acting like, you out here Doze Allen, man. You, you, ain't, you ain't really about that life. You ain't light skin. That's funny <laughs> though, because that like, light skin people are in trouble now. Because we're not oh, just yeah. going to take your word for it. We're going to be like, you really black or you Doze yeah. Allen out here? Yeah, maybe your parents should come out and let <laughs> us know what you really are. That's the funny thing about this. She said this black dude was her dad. She said, my dad's coming to speak here on January 19th. Yeah. Big black dude, not her dad. Not her, her parents are white. I think this is the best thing because <laughs> nowhere in history did she want to come out and say, you know what, today I'm going to be black. <laughs> but right now, that just lets you know the times have changed. Bruce Jenner said, I'm about to be Caitlyn. Rachel said, I'm Rochelle. Yeah. I think it's funny because you don't have to be black to work for the NAACP. Nah, she was like, don't. no, I don't want to just help. Yeah. I want to be you guys. Hey, you the real MVP. <laughs> you took it to a whole nother realm. And to you, I respect that. My hat goes off to you. You know, I know some black people that don't want to be black, and you chose to be black. <laughs> I just want to know how she handles If there's police and it's like, hey, ma'am, get on the ground. She's like, all right, listen. You know what? I was out here playing. There's the real black yeah. over there. She's like, mom, dad, let them know who I really am. Just like Friday said, you ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. But she lied and worked her way up to be the president of the NAACP in Spokane, Washington. Yeah. You're doing more than what black people do sometimes. You know what I'm saying? She grew up in Montana, and she had four younger brothers that were black, that were adopted. She felt left out. <laughs> she said, man, like, I want to be down with you guys. They're like, listen, we don't want to be black right now, okay? <laughs> Do you get it? We are discriminated against. I would not choose this life. She it's, has a mental condition. It's it hard enough. Mental. So on Black Twitter, they were talking about she's transracial, which okay. is like, I feel like I was born in this skin, but I should be in this skin. So there was a whole movement. She should be able to be transracial. Other people are transracial. There's like hashtag wrong skin, where people were saying that I was born in this skin, my parents are this, but I identify with that. So we want to know, do you guys feel like transracial is a real thing the same way Bruce Jenner is transgender. He feel like he grew up in the wrong body. Can you grow up in the wrong skin? Leave a comment below. Let us know what you guys think. I'm Norman Towns. Kevin on stage. Kevin on stage. Stay black. <laughs> <laughs>